What's around everyone? This is going to be your oracle card reading for the lunar eclipse that we had in Scorpio. So this is the oracle reading for everyone, all zodiac signs. What's up Scorpios? How y'all feeling out there? Now here's the deal. Now I know it's the, listen, the moon and uh, the north node, okay, which is about, you know, the past, what we're comfortable with, all that good stuff, but it's in Scorpio. So it's like, people get real comfortable out there with their deep, dark emotions, okay? And right now with this um, lunar eclipse, this lunar eclipse is like shining on pretty much everyone and everything. And it's just becoming apparent now, you know? And you can see that by what's going on with your life, what's going on in your own community, and what's going on in your state, what's going on in your own country, and what's going on in the world globally, okay? So, to be on the lighter side, because <laughs> I'm here to bring you on over to the lighter side, we're gonna get into all zodiac signs. I'm gonna start with Scorpios, okay? Because, um, yeah, they need that. <laughs> they need it right now. So I'll use Zodiac signs. Let's just, you know, just give a little time first to Scorpios, okay? Um, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. And then we're going to go from there. All right, so this, once again, is an advice card for the Lunar Eclipse. If you go back to the videos before, um, I had did the solar eclipse that happened in Taurus. So if you want a nice summary of the season Taurus or just the May month in itself, um, which I'm calling the eclipse season. <laughs> so um, go back and look at your sun moon ascendant from my previous videos that I did before this one. All right, let's get started with going with Scorpio first. And this is an advice card for the lunar eclipse in Scorpio. Have a wonderful day and night and enjoy this oracle card reading. What's around Scorpio Sun Moon Ascendants? This is your oracle card reading for the lunar eclipse that happened in Scorpio, your sign. All right. So we got the oracle card number 23 and I'm using the seven energies for this oracle energies for this card. And I used it also for last, um, eclipse which was the solar eclipse in Taurus so if you want a more roundabout reading for Taurus season or for May um look at this one but also go back and look at the other one as well all right so healing the heart Scorpio so we've been working on this for a minute now okay and from previous readings um I have grasped that you are, are working on it you know this is something that you are actively doing and um and um, you're putting in the energy work, which is good. So at this point, you know, healing the heart. So the main concept, of course, is just healing and making amends, not only with others, but first let's start with yourself. Start making amends with yourself. Um, healing yourself, whatever that is. Take time to be healthy, you know, mentally, you know, spiritually, physically, you know, get all of that healthy because one that's healthy and the other one is damaged, you still... I have to do more work, <laughs> more energy work, all right? So be more responsible for your health. Be more responsible for your heart, you know? And Scorpios are deep feelers, you know what I mean? So when they hurt, they hurt. Now, you may not know that, um, or they may not tell you, but sometimes through their actions, oh, you know, <laughs> they might not say nothing, but the actions or that face or just the energy that they carry you, like, oh, shoot, you know what I mean? So now it's time to uh, take accountability for healing all of you, the totality of you, not leaving one side out and ignoring it. Like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to get all healthy and stuff. I'm going to be on... Um, the certain diet, that certain diet, you know, I'm going to take these vitamins, you know, I'm going to cut coffee out and I'm going to start drinking this instead of coffee, whatever those things are. All right, that's cool and dandy, but those are kind of easy, you know, compared to, because a lot of you are like, what exercise is easy, losing it, way easy, but compared to healing your heart, uh -huh, and compared to healing your mind, compared to getting all yourself fixed right, your soul, spirit, everything. 
you spit everything, right? So going to workout is very easy compared to everything else I done said. So yeah, you can go start with that, but then let's start looking into the mirror and start reflecting some of that suffering, you know, and look at it and actually deal with that, you know, start to heal with that in order for you to be renewed and you gain this rebirth and we still in this rebirth time so this is a perfect time for you to handle this and it's a full moon so this is an excellent good 14 days for you to be healing the heart healing yourself and it might be where you need to get outside help you know from a professional um, or you might um, need to withdraw yourself from certain person, places, or things so that you can spend more time with yourself and, and start to figure out what is what and not go through the hustle and bustle of life, you know, which makes us very distracted from what we really have to focus on, which is, you know, yourself. So healing the heart in all aspects is your priority now. Nothing else matters, Scorpio. Only beauty and goodness will come as a result of you healing yourself. Have a wonderful day and night. Scorpio, sun, moon, and ascendance for this lunar eclipse in your sign. Scorpio, have a good day and night. What's around sun, moon, and ascendance, Sagittarius? How y'all doing out there? All right, well, look at y'all card. The number seven card. So it's time to hum, okay? It's time to take a deep breath. It's time to release Saggies, all right? Um, affecting you, okay, you might have uh, Mercury retrograde. Um, it's a very possibility of affecting you. Also, the lunar eclipse is in your neighbor's sign of Scorpio with the North Node there. So you're feeling a little bit of that energy too. And on the opposite side of you is Pluto hanging out. So you just like, oh, wait a minute now. Wait a minute, I gotta do this. <laughs> and a lot of it might be deep thoughts like nobody don't know about. Like you're really taking a lot on right now. And in your... Um, perspective it's good you know that you're taking on all these different things because maybe in your mind or you know how you see it, is this thing this thing this thing that thing can get me here 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 and here so I'm gonna have to put in some work in order to get where I need to go and that's all cool and dandy I'm not here to judge nobody but at the same time you know don't let your mind take over do not it's, it's good for opposite signs to tap in because your opposite sign is, is Gemini. So it is good for an opposite sign to use, in your case, Sagittarius, use some Gemini. Use some of that thinking, that knowledge, that pondering, that, you know, communication, that, you know, running the mouth and, you know, here and there and everywhere, social butterfly and just, uh, da, 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 Noah, you know, just, you know, what I'm talking about. So if you, especially if you know a Gemini. Um, but at this point, you overdoing it. <laughs> you overthink it, okay? You don't want the problems of the Gemini. You want just enough to get you to where you need to go. But you don't want the problems of a Gemini, okay? You don't, okay? Listen to any of uh, any any um, artists or poets who are Geminis, okay? So, <laughs> but you can take a tab there, but you're overdoing it by overthinking. That's the thing. You're actually setting yourself up. You like putting your, You did this before, Sag, you did this before. Go back into my other old readings. I don't know what season we was in. But when I was telling you, get them swords out your back. You're kind of in that right now. You've been doing good. And so, because we're at this point now where you've been working, uh, putting some effort in. But it's coming back. Like, you're, you're starting to overthink a little bit. So, you kind of have to say, okay, listen. I understand there's dangers out there. I understand I might get rejected. You know, I understand... Um, you know, my uh, flight might, might get canceled and with all these new rules and regulations, I might not or may not be able to get to my destination or um, whatever the situation is that you're worried about. And, and it's causing you to, to have this kind of, like it's a threat to you or something like that, you know? But there's no proof, really. There's nothing tangible where you can say, okay, this flight is actually going to cancel. You just all in your head just think about all worst scenarios and I get it okay because I'm your opposite sign but there's a point where you just put in too much of that 
you know, what if, what if, oh my God. And it's like negative, what if, what ifs, you know. And it's okay, you know, to plan things for that. So that way you won't be shocked. But like I said, you're overdoing it and you're starting to frustrate yourself. And you get into this fight and flight mode. And once you get in this fight and flight mode, you're actually causing stress hormones to take hold of your body. And then you're going to start to get sick. And then it's going to, right, then you're going to be watching me back again. Like, ah, what should I do now? Okay, so I'm telling you what you do now to solve your future problems is take a deep breath. I don't care what you got to do. I don't care if you used to run and you want to start running. I don't care if you're a walker and you need to go out and walk. I don't care if you just sit and just breathe deeply. Hold your breath in for 10 seconds and then blow it back out for 10 seconds. And then breathe it on in. Count 10 seconds and then blow it on out another 10 seconds. Some people can't handle 10 seconds. So you can do 8 seconds. You know, where you're just breathing in air for 8 seconds straight. And you're blowing out air for 8 seconds straight. And you're doing that. And you might feel a little lightheaded and all that. So if you do just stop and breathe normally it's okay but take time within your day to do this even if you do it every hour or you say you know what every hour I'm gonna get up off my desk and I'm gonna walk outside because some people still working from home or you know if you had a, a office building you know what every hour <laughs> Okay, and you, if you tell your boss if you need to, like, every hour I need to take a five-minute break, a ten-minute break. You know what? Because cigarette smokers get more breaks than people who don't smoke. So let's be real about it, okay? But tell them, I need to take a break because, you know, my my I can't feel my knees after a while, my legs, so I got to get up and walk around. I'll be back. I guarantee you, you'll have a clearer mind. You'll be more productive, even though your boss doesn't understand right now. But right now, it's not for people to understand. Right now, you're taking care of yourself, okay? You're taking care of your mental and then your mental will, will take care of everything else, all right? So definitely make that shift to taking deeper breaths, slowing down a little bit. And now you got a good 14 days and an excuse, the full moon, to chillax a little bit. Start to say no, you know. Um, don't isolate yourself because you are sad, so you're going to feel some kind of way about isolation. So I'm not going to mention that. But even when you're amongst a crowd, Take a deep breath. You could just be sitting there, y'all kiki and you're just waiting for your glass of wine to come while you're sitting here and other people talking. And you're looking at them, and you might be nodding your head, but you're taking deep breaths while you're looking and nodding at your head. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's kind of a Gemini trick. So, <laughs> so um, go ahead. Take that time. And today, today, choose love over fear. Okay? Choose thinking about the, the, the good things that can happen, the, the, the fuzzy, warmy things, the things that make you all tingly inside, right? Warm and fuzzy inside instead of oh, things that make you up tight and tense. And now you got stress lines in your forehead and all that. And you will be amazed what happens when you do. Have a good day and night, Sagittarius. And of course, you can comment below um, about your journey or anything like that because it can help other Sagittarius. Have a good day and night. What's around Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Ascendants? This is your tarot reading um, for the lunar eclipse that happens, excuse me, in Scorpio. So, you got the number 42, which is smoke and mirrors. So, seeing through the lens, basically, of the past. Mirror, mirror on the wall, right? <laughs> so, you're basically looking at the past. Your perceptions are stuck in the past. And a lot of people's perceptions are stuck in the past because of what we've been conditioned to um, from our family to our friends to what neighborhood we grew up to, what school, you know, it, we are been, we've been conditioned, all of us. Um, so this is what you're looking at and this is what you're basing everything. So that means like hurts, like all pains, all of that good stuff and bad stuff. That's what you're looking through the lens of, okay? So you're having an inability to recognize what is true you know what is true of what's being offered if i say hey i'm your friend you ain't gonna believe me right now if i say hey i got you come out to to dinner i'll spot you you ain't gonna really believe me right now if i say yo if you fall i catch you you ain't gonna be you were like yo you saw a smoke and mirrors because of what happened to me in the past what happened to me in the past was that the last person who said that or the last 10 people who said that or the last three wives or the last four bosses, you know, you see what I'm saying, and you're judging people, and you're being very biased towards people right now, based on everything that you have taken with you from the past, it's kind of scoring you, making you kind of bitter, you know, and therefore, it's leading you, it's like, mis it's leading you, it's leading you, but it's also misguiding you as it's leading you, 
if that makes any sense, okay? So you have to heal from all of this past conditioning. You know, some of it you, you take with you, you know, because th there were lessons there. And some of it, you just throw it away. Like, I don't need it, you know? When you throw away trash, 99% of the time, we don't really, I would say 99.9% of the time, we really don't, we're not concerned so much about us throwing away. We might take a couple, you know, point percentages to recycle. Okay, this goes here, that goes there, let me wash this out. And then we might have a thought about, okay, take it out the trash and when it needs to be. But rarely, unless we dropped our keys in there, some money in there, you know, Wally, there's something important, some jewelry fell in the air, you know, we're going to be digging in that. That doesn't happen often though, right? So most of that stuff is trash that you're dealing with. So throw it away. Get rid of it, you know? And move beyond the illusions of what's keeping you separated from moving on with your life. You know what I mean? It's keeping you separated. That smoke is keeping you separated as if you think something is dangerous. Or what if it's just a lovely incense burning, but you think the whole house is burning up because of that smoke. But it's just the incense. <laughs> No, I can't trust that. You know, that incident might burn down the whole house. All right? So, move beyond those illusions of any type of things that separate you from healing and moving on with yourself. And become accountable for any biases that you have because of your past. And that way, you'll be able to open up yourself to view the world in more of a wholesome a more of a clearer perspective. So right now, today, okay, during this lunar eclipse, okay, trust the inner voice that reminds you that you truly will find what you seek and more, even if outer conditions appear to be challenging that. It's all smoke and mirrors. Things are not exactly as you think they are, Capricorns. Have a good day and night during this lunar eclipse in Scorpio. Let's surround Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is your tarot reading card, actually oracle reading card, uh, for this lunar eclipse that happened in Scorpio, and the moon is still in Scorpio, and you will be feeling these energies for the next two weeks until the um, new moon comes again. So you got the number six card, Aquarius, and this is Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. Y'all like, it is what it is, <laughs> okay? It is what it is. That's how y'all looking at life right now. Y'all better come on with your radical selves, okay? Y'all been in Taurus for a minute. Y'all been in Taurus for a minute, okay? And y'all just like, all right, listen, at this point, it is what it is. <laughs> So you have this acceptance, you know, you're just engaging life on life's terms, you know. You're not looking in it deeper, it, you're looking at it exactly how it is at face value and that's that. You're using your observation skills wonderfully, you know, observing all the circumstances and situations that are taking place before you and around you. And taking them, like I said, as is, like... If somebody says, okay, I'm going to sell you this car as is, that means whatever happens after that. Well, that that's what it is. You know, what I mean? you want to buy this house? You take it as is. Okay, you gonna go to it. Hey, you know what I mean? You either love me or leave me alone. You know what I'm talking about? You either, like a, a relationship where you meet someone. It is what it is. So if you know this relationship is like that, you already know it's like that. You know, it, ain't no more to it. Ain't no, no more, no less to add to it. And that's how you live in your life right now. Or if you're not, you know, this is a suggestion for you to start doing. And um, recognizing and releasing any resistance and denial that you have. So it's kind of like what happens when you look at the world. Can you see it exactly as it is or only as you assume it to be kind of like, you know? So what angles are you looking at? Is it just one angle or are you doing all 360, you know, angles? Where are you just looking at one, two, and three or nine, 10, 11 of those angles, you know? So if you step back, with clarity and acceptance, you will realize that life is offering you something magical. Even if circumstances and situations that you're in right now, they're just 
temporary detours, you know, and you will discover that there's a treasure beyond your imagination and a new way to embrace the world. So definitely just keep in mind that, you know, you have the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change. You know, that, that saying, that scripture, right? That everybody say, that's the thing you are right now. You just like, hey, hey I'm... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Aquarius. Y'all have a wonderful day and night. Aquarius, sun, moon, and ascendance. What's around sun, moon, and ascendant, Pisces? This is your lunar eclipse reading in Scorpio um, that we have. Full moon at that. Um, so, which is one of your sibling signs. So, during this time, it's telling you to use the root of abundance, the number two card, okay? So, I remember for the solar eclipse one, and you can go back and look at it. <clears throat> the solar eclipse one that I just did, um, it was talking about the symphony. Um, and I'm noticing that you have the number two card. And the number two is relating to others, which it has to do with your other reading as well. So tie these two together, okay? Tie these two together. Isn't this great? But anyway, um, and Taurus represents the number two as well. So this card is just like perfect for you um, for what's going on into the sky and just the season in itself. Um, plus you have... Mars um, that's hanging out in your sign as well as Neptune. So, yeah, you're going to need this root, root of abundance to come in. You're going to need to root yourself down, um, you know, put 10 toes down into the ground type thing because your dreams and your um, imaginations is just like, ah! It's at its peak right now. You just like, what? Neptune is home. And like, yeah, I'm all comfortable. And you're like, yeah, I got all these. And you just, oh, boy, God, the imagination must be crazy over there. Holla. Please comment. But, uh, and then you got Mars there. It was just giving you that fire to get it done and whatnot. So, but at the same time, it's all exciting. It's like going to Disney World or, or kick on to Disney World or an adult traveling, you know, to a different country or a different place that they always wanted to be but it never could go. So it's there. You're just like, ah, you know, at the highest peak. But you have to stabilize yourself, okay? And you have to start creating deep roots, not shallow roots where the wind blow and then that's it. You know, tree about to fall down. Not not um tarnished roots or um, roots that's been you know, rot it out. We don't want those roots either, you know. We want strong roots, right? So you can anchor yourself and, and, and um, feel secure, you know, in what you're doing and what you are anchoring yourself and do life. You know, not just one aspect of your life. Do, uh, do all of your life. And then trust and believe in your abundance. So you got all these dreams and imaginations and you got that passion behind it as well. But then it's like, all right, trust and believe now got to come in here. These are why these little stars flying around and little mystical butterflies flying around. Because, yes, you got that spark of imagination and all these things and wonderful, fabulous dreams. And, you know, you want to bring that down to life and make it real and everything. But you have to trust and believe, okay? Life happens for you, not to you, okay? So, as a Pisces, you have a way where you can really um, take charge and hold of whatever you're doing. Um, if you find yourself ungrounded, like you're, you're thinking all over the place, you're, you're just scattered, now is the time for you to have trust in yourself. Growth never follows a straight line. You will manifest what you need when you need it, okay? So a tall, healthy tree doesn't need to hold on to the ground for dear life, right? It knows it will not fly away with the wind because it knows it worked on its roots and getting those roots planted deep, not shallow, deep into the earth. Have a wonderful day and night. Pisces, sun, moon, and ascendance for this lunar eclipse in Scorpio. What's around Sun Moon Ascendant? Aries, how you doing? What's around during this uh, lunar eclipse in Scorpio? And the moon is still in Scorpio, okay? So, look at you, Aries. You got the, I'm 49, which is willing release. So, 
cave in, okay? I cave in to the divine plan. It's all right. You know what I mean? So, but release other attachments to form, okay? So anything that you're attached to or anything, it's time to let that go, all right? Especially if it's something um, isn't what you expected or wanted. Um, why are you holding on to it? Okay, there's a reason why things have to shed. There's a reason why the dandelions turns into this big puff so it can release to spread more seeds so others can grow. Okay, so take that upon you. This is dandelion season right now. Trust and believe I'm out there getting them dandelion roots. You know I am. You know I am. So, <laughs> so this is dandelion season time now, Aries. So this is a perfect card for you. And that fire energy is 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 that yellow, you know, using some of that Leo energy, that solar plexus, okay, to figure out what is it that you want in your space and that you don't want in your space, okay? And you may have to leave the room sometimes just to get some serendipity. So you need some alone time. And that's okay because when you're distracted, when anyone is distracted, not just Aries, um, whatever it is, whether it's TV, social media, whether it's people, places, and things, whether it's you just distract yourself because you just want to ignore it from yourself kind of like that fight or flight within yourself because of yourself you know what i mean so at this point take some time out it's a full moon you know what i mean we got, we got days to take time out now take some time out um leave the room you know what i mean just so you can get a peace of mind leave the room meaning like you know when it gets too um congested you know when it gets too uh when you're feeling you know, it ain't it, you know, this ain't right for me, or why should I be here and take this when I could be somewhere else chilling, you have that choice in your life, and this is the time to do it, um, to help you release, okay, um, because it could be people placing things around you that just keep enticing you in and keep enticing you in, but you don't know how to say no, you don't know how to say, okay, wait, no, not today, maybe next week, I'll call you on that, I don't even know right now, okay, right, because some people don't even know everything that you're going through, but you know, you can give them a roundabout answer about why you can't can't do this that and the other or you could just flat out saying because i need to take care of myself okay so you have put in the work you have and you know this your aries define your desires and felt them deeply and engaged your higher power already so you have been doing all of this we're defining everything that you want in your life what you don't want in your life and engaging into what is a higher perspective, a higher angle that you're looking at things upon. Now you must let go and see what transpired, okay? So you have been doing all, whether it's journaling, whether whatever it is, contemplating, figuring it out, you already know at this point this card is saying what you need to release because you looked at it from a higher angle, okay? So right now it shouldn't be brain uh, rocket science. It isn't always easy though, okay? <laughs> letting go is not always easy but you have to trust in the divine okay you have to trust in the process surrendering truly will serve your highest good knowing this truth in your heart can that really be so difficult all right there let's get out there aries release have a good day and night during this lunar eclipse that happened in scorpio What's around some of the ascendant Taurus? This is your lunar eclipse reading that happened in Scorpio. And you had a solar eclipse that happened about two weeks ago in your sign. So at this point, Taurus, okay, still your season. Happy Taurus season out there for all the Tauruses. Okay, I'm next. <laughs> at this point, Gemini's like, okay, move, get out of the way. But anyway, you're the storyteller, number 17. So, um, this is a fire sign. So, positive self-definition is going on right now, okay? You are teaching others how to treat you through the stories you tell about who you are. How wonderful is that during your season where you have such a, a positive self-definition, a positive self-concept, a positive self-esteem about your identity that... You're not scared to share that. And by sharing that, people can feel it and they'll know how to treat you, you know, because they know who you are and what you've done been through. So what if you could connect to your true power as a co-creator of your reality? 
And if anybody's cross watching or watching the whole zodiac sign, this is a question for everybody to really be honest with you. What if you could connect to your true power as a co-creator of your reality? And then I would go further and cross out the co and just put the creator of your reality. The story originates in your mind, how you think, your conditioning, and your past experiences, how you view the world, right? And what you expect to see in it. The truth is, you have everything you need to tell a new tale and weave more blessings into the world as your unique contribution. In fact, practice speaking of your amazing success your overflowing abundance and all the love that surrounds you and soon everything outside of you everything externally to you your outer world will tell the same story back to you you see that so you can use it in all kind of ways all kind of ways you can use the storytelling technique start telling the stories if you're like what start telling the stories to yourself Tell your stories to yourself. This is what journaling is all about. You know what I'm talking about? Start there, you know, and then work on out. Inner, then outer. But you got the juice now, Taurus. Let's see how you're going to use it. Have a good day and night, Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Ascendants. What's around Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Ascendants? This is your lunar eclipse reading for... <clears throat> Um, the full moon in Scorpio. So you got the number 26 card, which is the great big love. And I don't know what's going on with you and Sagittarius, but Sagittarius kind of got a card that reminded me of you. And you got the card that Sagittarius got during the um, solar eclipse that happened in Taurus. So that's at my other reading that I did just before this one. So, wow. So something with that cross is going on here um, between... Gemini and um, um, Sagittarius. Um, now, a couple of weeks ago, it was a situation where they were um, accompanied by the North and South Node, but since they kind of shift back in a retrograde, they were in the other sides previous. So, um, but they still hold a great bond together, um, Gemini and Sagittarius. Um, so, great big love. <clears throat> number 26 so Gemini's I know you see in the heart and you know you might be excited but then the other Gemini twin is like oh gosh you know what, what are you talking what, please no, don't don't get mushy on me well I'm gonna have to okay so love without conditions Gemini and there is so much of a synchronicity to this it's not even funny so love without conditions all right what is unconditional love to you, Gemini? What does that look like? What does that feel like to you? You know, romantic love and how that experience will change you, you know? Um, it's like a, a deep, harmonious connection with soulmates, you know, twin flames, you know, soul groups, soul families, right? Because some of y'all are listening to me and you might be closer to people that you met online <laughs> in a chat on YouTube than you are people who actually see every day. So Jim and I, um, just to get a little bit more with you guys because you are air sign and Technically, air signs are not built to feel. I mean, we do feel. Gemini's feel. Air signs feel. But it's in a different way than what you think um, it is. Because we mostly think about the feeling, not feeling and think. And a lot of times that can screw air signs up. Um, but overall, Gemini, let's just talk about love. Um, there's so many things I got to tell you, right? Like music said, music's a job. Love heals all wounds begins all life, right? Otherwise, you and I wouldn't be here, most of us. Even if it was for 10 minutes of love. <laughs> I love you for 10 minutes still. <laughs> we came out of love, right? It sustains you when you are starving for grace, when you stumble and fall, and when you lose sight of your purpose and fall prey to the limited perspectives of the ego. 
Now is the time to fall in love and call in the awareness of the great big love that made you, which is ever pulsing through your veins. So even though this card might be alluding to an intimate connection, you don't have to wait for a partner to experience it. You know what I mean? You're being invited right now, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Ascendants, to explore love and all its beauty. Can you love without conditions? Without needing things to be perfect? Do you love your life, what you do, and how you contribute to the world? Okay? Rewind that, Gemini. Go through those questions, okay? Because I know you like questions, so, you know, this is going to be great. Well, at least you like to give them. But today, invite love with a capital L, okay? Into your life, okay? Into your space. You will be amazed. And your very question may be changed as a result. Love is the strength you need today. The lens you must look through to find the truth and your way. Love is the way. The only way and the only answer right now for you, Geminis. So go back. Go through those questions again. You might have to write them down. Because they seem simple. But when you really think about it, it ain't all that simple, right? But it is. But it ain't. But it is. For the Geminis. <laughs> have a good day and night. Sun, moon, and ascendant. Gemini during this lunar eclipse that we have in Scorpio. This around Sun, moon, and ascendant Cancers. This is your oracle reading for the lunar eclipse in Scorpio. So you got the number 38 card. Endless possibilities here. Endless possibilities. Emil LaRue has a song called um, Limited Possibilities. That's a very good song. Well, anyway, unlimited potential for you, okay? So you're moving beyond your limits and your limiting beliefs start there first. You move beyond your limited beliefs and that's what's keeping you moving on. And the filter of a of your past, like you're using that to determine what you're going to need from your past to hold on to because that was good advice that was good information um that was good knowledge that you have learned and gained so therefore you don't want to repeat those mistakes again and you're like uh -uh, i'm taking this with me you know what I mean? or maybe you observe somebody in your past and you're like oh nope i learned my lesson on that one never forget that one you know so those type of filtering systems that you're using you know they're not so much filtering where you just can't see and you don't want to see and you're putting up you know the curtains and whatnot so you don't see no you're using this to kind of shift and figure out what is pure gold what is the diamond basically and what is not the diamond what is what did, I'm, let's say gold what is gold and what isn't what is it fool's gold and if it's full gold you, honey it's not going through your filter it is not going through your filter at this point and if you are not feeling like this, this is the energies that you need to, to be in so anytime i give a reading and you're not feeling it, especially if it's an oracle reading. It's an advice card. So if you're not on that path and it's saying, oh, then it's start to shift, right? Time to move. <laughs> anyway, um, so using your awareness to um, come up with your own discernment of what is possible and having that courage to, believe, to leap, to move towards that, to go and even beyond that, you know what I mean? Like, um... Buzz Lightyear, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, if to infinity and beyond type stuff. So this is the card that we're looking at here. Um, today, stand with open arms, knowing that you are standing into beauty, into experiences that are potent, okay? It's, it's, it's that good, good stuff that you're stepping into, right? And But it's transformative at the same time. So not only are you gonna be going through a transformative stage, um, you are walking past the line that you and others drew long ago. Leaping over what was and towards what will be. It's kind of like playing hopscotch. You know what I mean? Where, you know, you are throwing a pebble and you're just going past, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way to nine, ten. So you're doing that. You're doing that. So you are more than you were in the past. 
okay so now what is it that you want that's it the treasure is yours you just need to believe it cancers and cancers is one of the number one manifestors out there um, because of their connection with the moon so really with your endless possibilities you can go wherever you want cancers have a good day and night Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, Cancers during this lunar eclipse energy that happened in Scorpio. Once around Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, Leos, this is your oracle reading for the lunar eclipse in Scorpio. So you're feeling a world. There's a lot going on now. Number 14 card. So it's like the world is your home right now. And it's... You know everything that's going on within it. You know, you're sensitive to the feelings of other awarenesses of the world. And the border perspective, perspective, perspective of what's going on is kind of like you have an empathy overload. And like it's overwhelming you at this point because of what's going on you know, around you. And this is a, um, a beautiful card, you know. At the same time, the overwhelming part is that part, right? But empathy reminds you that you are not alone. It is um, a beautiful way to feel the connectivity, like all around you. Like some people say, I can go into a room and I can feel the whole room. <coughs> and by them doing that, they're able to move around the room a little bit better. Um, so. The connectivity all around you giving you a profound sense of belonging, um, a, board, a broader experience of being part of the bigger picture as a whole, you know. And with that being said, it can also be, like I said, it can be overwhelming, especially when you don't know where you end and the rest of the world begins, you know what I mean? So now is the time to be clear about your boundaries, you know, Just ask yourself, whose energy you've turned into you might find it's not even yours and this this card right here for any cross rogers anybody if y'all watching the whole thing <clears throat> because maybe you watch the dishes you ain't got time to turn it off <laughs> or pause it um to go into the next sign um maybe your moon sign or your sin sign but this is for everybody here okay literally um because Every day, you can get these thoughts <clears throat> and these feelings, and they're not even yours. <laughs> and you have, that's why it's so important daily, you know, hourly if you have to, minute by minute if you're really good, to discern what is yours and what is not yours. What is your thoughts and feelings and what is not your thoughts and feelings? Because maybe you're picking it up from somewhere else. It's like, for instance, you ever know someone or you might be that person where wherever they go, Give them about 10 minutes. They're going to start sounding like that person, acting like that person, whatever. I don't care if you're in Australia. Give them 10 minutes. They're going to start saying something in Australia. If you go to New York City, in 10 minutes, they're going to start talking like a New Yorker. <clears throat> they go down south. They're going to start pulling their twang all around. So it's just like um, you got to use discernment within yourself. You know, you cannot be overwhelmed with other people's problems and issues even though empathy is a gift you have to decide you know uh, on what is your thoughts and feeling and what is not and then when you do that you are able to be clear on how and what to accept what not to accept where your boundaries are etc etc with that other person place or thing so you are being asked now to be aware of how your words um and um, actions may affect others. While it's not your job to determine how someone will respond to you, discernment is necessary. So be firm yet kind. Keep in mind that people pleasing, all right, kissing people butts, all that would not give you what you truly need. That said, your empathy is beautiful and important. It just has to be balanced and clear by you knowing what your thoughts and feelings are <clears throat> and you're not just taking on somebody else's thoughts and feelings so it has to be balanced in order for you to access its wonderful gifts okay so it's kind of like um, a psychic 
or um, a tarot card reader or you know a runes reader stone readers tea readers it doesn't matter aura readers you know there's a, a space where you have to practice to um, to keep it clear you know what I mean from everything even that person's personal information and life and all that cannot be clouded into the session otherwise that person will not be able to decide what is what what should be said and what advice to give and not just you know going off of what that person is feeling and what they're feeling and mixing and mingling the feelings and the thoughts and all that kind of stuff so that's just an example of how to it is a preparation you know it, it does take time it does take dedication to be able to know what is you what is your thoughts what is your feelings versus you um, adopting someone else's so definitely um, take some time to um, get to know yourself okay and these wonderful gifts and celebrate the beauty of this type of sensitivity um, of others okay because once you become clear and have come clarity within yourself and discern it within yourself, then you will be more available to offer um, any type of information or advice to um, the rest of the world, whoever it might be, or even to make a decision towards um, the rest of the world. Have a good day and night. Leo, the sun, the moon, and ascendants. What's around Virgo, Sun, and Moon, and Ascendants? This is your Oracle card reading for the Lunar Eclipse in Scorpio. Look at you. You got the Divine Matrix over here with the number 44 card. So this is like the spirit realm here that you're in, okay? The knowledge that you are and pretty much everybody are, is divine beings and part of a tapestry, okay? Where we're weaving our dreams into this fabric that causes reality and the synchronicities of it all, okay? Leading you to trust the way things unfold. Now, Virgo, okay? Mercurial <laughs> sign, all right? A thinker like a mug. So, you might have been and will be seeing a lot of things that are lining up, like synchronicities like crazy, you know what I mean? Like, you like, am I bugging to the point where you like, you brush it off, like, ah, no, ah, no. and then it just keeps popping up and popping up, whatever that is, okay, to each his own, but you know what I'm talking about, and you sitting there like, pondering like wait a minute how come and some of y'all might even have pulled out your phones and start making notes about what you're seeing and what you and if you're not this is a good this is a good thing to do um when you're seeing a lot of synchronicity start keeping tabs of it and when you keep tabs of it you want to keep tabs of it about right before you see it this is this takes a, this, it's a present thing you know what i mean you have to be present so, right before that, right before it happens, right? I don't care if it's a nanosecond. Before it happens, what were you feeling and thinking during that time? Now, you might have to tell people to shut up while you write it down because you might be walking with somebody and boop, there it is. You might have to pull out your phone and be like, give me a second. Because you're, you're, you're putting down, okay, you got to put down this, what time, what, what day it was, and what, what, what was it? What was you feeling? What was you thinking right during that time? Track that over a couple of synchronicity moments. Then you're about to see the bigger picture of what is going on with whatever you're syncing up, okay? So, that's just a little hint. But, <laughs> do you have synchronicities or wonder how synchronicities come together? These meaningful coincidences move life forward in ways we might not understand at the time. Um, we can get trapped in the idea that the world is a place of separate parts because we are raised that, you know, everybody's like separate, but we all pull together, you know, shout out to um, the local pilot man where he talks about, you know, um, teamwork makes the dream work. And this is what this is all about right so sometimes we can get trapped with 
trying to figure out what these things are. And the whole point is not to overthink. It's just to make note of or to be aware of the situation. And then you can piece it together. You know, don't hurt yourself, Virgo's over there, okay? So life operates on life's terms as well. So you don't live in a vacuum. So you are surrounded by a multitude of realities upon realities upon realities upon realities that are brought upon by others, people you don't even know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because we're all in this together. These can surely affect you if you allow them to. But as you thread your luminous life force, your courageous dream is part of the tapestry of life. You're being invited to be conscious of the pattern you are weaving. So, isn't it amazing to know you have such power that's in you just by being alive? You will see evidence of the truth of this divine matrix today. Take note, it's in you. What you do matters. All manner of miracles are waiting for you to lay claim to them. Are you ready, Virgos? Let's go. Let's get information. Ah, okay, Virgos, let's get information. All right, have a good day and night. Virgos, do your sun, moon, and ascendant um, for the Scorpio lunar eclipse. What's around sun, moon, ascendant? Libras, this is your lunar eclipse full moon reading that happened in Scorpio. Beyond the ordinary, so you're piggybacking off of of uh, Virgos here. So they got 44, you got the number 45. <clears throat> Beyond the ordinary. So this is a mystical card, as you can see, right? Or feel. And it's about trusting in what you cannot see. You know, trusting in the invisible world. Even without understanding. Or overstanding it. Okay? Recognizing that some things cannot be known in advance and are not meant to be grasped intellectually. Do I need to repeat that, Libra? Because you're air side, so you know, you know what I'm saying. Okay, rewind that part. Okay. The awareness that everything is as it should be, even if it doesn't make sense. And it's so funny because Aquarius got a card similar to this. So maybe you want to go ahead and take a look at your sibling sign and see what's popping on and you want to check out Gemini too but this is for your semblance in Libra right now so beyond our ordinary world defined by our memory and our intellect okay and as well as our five senses right but all of this is a mystical realm of beauty magic and potential okay whether how good or bad your past might be right it doesn't matter when you want to know what is to come, the nature of something, or where you're heading, it's natural to turn to a trusted oracle and expect some kind of answer that will confirm your view on how things are or might be or should be, right? This happens in pretty much everybody's life where you always try to figure out something and then you got your friends around or family around and you're trying to get them to give you an answer that you feel like it's a trusted answer because of what of the past especially like you already have your perception about it and if they don't go with what you already came to conclusion with about you you're gonna have a fit you know it's, it's like that so sometimes um <clears throat> If things are not the way it should be, sometimes this is not possible because the elements cannot be named or are not yet in place, right? So that's why if it's like, oh, I want to know my future, or oh, if you look at my natal chart, can you tell me what my purpose is or what, you know, or what my job career should be, um, all of that kind of stuff, you know? But like I said, sometimes that's not possible. Okay, because a lot of that has to do with you individually because of the elements, okay, cannot be named or structured as of yet. It's in working, you know, the universe is working it out. It's kind of like, you know, um, they're putting up the scaffolds, they're putting up, you know, the, the, um, 
the drapes, you know, to let the, the dust stay out of certain areas. You know, they might be putting up the fence and the do not disturb sign. All of this stuff is going on, but right now you just like, well, I want to see it now. I want to know it now. And it's like, come on now, we, we, geez, I mean, we, we just getting started. We just, we figuring out the plans itself. You just said this like, hello, give us some time now. <laughs> You just keep doing your work down there, and we'll just keep doing our work up here. It's kind of like that, you know what I mean? So, even though you can't put it, put your finger on it at this time, do not let that um, put you in some kind of funk, okay? Um, but just know that things are working out, okay? Even if it's still in like a flux, like it's up and down, and you still cannot figure it out. And you just having sleepless nights and whatnot, and, um, you know, four swords happening that you know you got a lot of stuff going on right so you don't want to do that you don't want to damage yourself you don't want to put yourself through mental health so no matter how hard you try to understand why something um happened or happened already or how or when it will happen now is the time to surrender to not knowing oh that's gonna be hard Libra. Ooh, i feel you but I, i'm just saying just not knowing go to aquarius aquarius reading they got it is what it is Okay, so if you need that to boost you up a little bit, go ahead. The mystery is a mystery because it is a present, unknowingly, and as yet, unmade yet, or still in the making. It's kind of like how the cake gonna look when I'm just taking the cake mix out the box. <laughs> you know what I'm I'm not sure yet. Hold on a minute. It's kind of like that. So be comfortable with not knowing. That doesn't mean just, oh, I'm not going to do nothing. Just get, no, you still have to put in the energy work, though. You still got to, you still got to do your energy work down here. And don't worry about the rest, right? Your job is to stay the course, allowing whatever comes to be exactly as it will. Without trying to change anything in advance, trying to manipulate things in advance, trying to predict things in advance, because the air signs got gifts for that. We ain't doing that during this time. All right, okay, now I get two weeks to not. Because <laughs> you're probably like, well, how long? I gotta be like this. Two weeks, but it's good practice anyway, you know? So have a good day and night. Libra, sun, moon, and ascendant for this lunar eclipse, full moon that we have in Scorpio. Have a good day and night, Libra.